Well, hi, people. Uh, good afternoon, good early evening, good hello in this uh, windy day we have today. Um, today is a week before Christmas, a, a week before the summer's or the winter solstice. Today is the 16th of December, and a week from today will be the day before Christmas Eve. So we're in the uh, swirl in the, in the cycle of the season. Um, in different ways it's called advent it's called kwanzaa it's called hanukkah it's called yuletide winter solstice the celtic new year the advent season and also the christmas season so happy holidays to you in all the different ways that brings you the joy of the journey and your loved ones and your friends and may all the uh, the joy that is beyond the all understanding the peace that passes all understanding be with you and around you and surround you and your loved ones not only now in this moment of the golden holy moment of now but throughout the coming time the entire coming year and dear friends um take a little moment in your heart to shine a little light around the beautiful beloved water planet aqua terra mother earth and send light and love and the joy of the journey of peace and that is deep peace from the deep heart of the earth deep peace to all the places that need help at this time middle east syria central america for those who are hungry and starving for those who are imprisoned for those who are homeless for those who are in the hospital, our loved ones, our friends, or for those who are recovering and those who are soon to recover, place some love and light around each one of these situations, these peoples, these places, these friends. Because um, in our journey of being, it is the interbeing of all of us that connects us and send that love and light right into the heart of darkness wherever it may be places that need healing upon mother earth like we said middle east syria our own our own country our own cities chicago new york los angeles san francisco portland seattle houston new orleans miami any denver kansas city Think of the places that, that you inhabit, dear friends, and your loved ones inhabit. Just take a moment here to think of your loved ones and your friends near and far. And it might be a, a good suggestion to go out and get 20 Christmas cards. And it's okay to send Christmas cards after Christmas too. And send them to friends you haven't thought about or that loved one who you haven't thought about in years, who needs a card, who needs to hear from you. It's a time for that now. It's a time for renewal, and it's a time of grace. And it's a time of amazing grace as well. And let this uh, amazing grace fill your heart to do what is good for everything. And it's time to let everything go. It's a letting go time. It's a time of forgiveness. Let us forgive one another and let us forgive those whom we can't forgive. Let us forgive them in our heart and let that forgiveness prayer or affirmation go around the people all the way around them and their loved ones, back around the circle, back all the way around the entire earth and back into our heart and our loved ones, our kith and kin. It's time now for forgiveness. So this will be... Um, a winter solstice yuletide journey but also a journey into the heart of forgiveness one another and ourselves it's time to let go of anything we hold against ourselves. let go and know that you'll do just as you are you don't have to do any performances you don't have to uh, uh, perform uh, be a dancing bear you're just fine just as you are you are a loving star brought to earth for this time that we are all on this journey together, this immense journey of the great mystery. So 
What we're going to do today is focus on the winter solstice and uh, share a few stories and a few pieces that uh, have come together. And as we talked about the widening gyre that opens and also the acceleration of the ending of the year and the beginning of the new year. So it's time to put things, uh, if you want, say, um, clean out, sweep out your home, sweep out the corners, all the dusty parts, clean it out, take the garbage out, make sure you wash the dishes, get everything all cleaned up. Uh, it's for the inner work, the inner work that we're going to be going on here. And um, for you out there far away in California, hey, we love you, New York, Maine, Canada, Alaska. Dear friend, um, if you've never spent a winter apart, as about as far as you can get, is uh, a winter in Alaska. And I spent uh, two winters, actually two or three winters in Alaska and two Christmases. And um, so for those who are lonely, those are the ones we want to think about, the least of these. So reach out, reach out to the least of these whether in physical time or in your heart, in some way, make a showing of, of reaching out of your heart to them. Send some love their way. Let them know that they're part of your heart because really, we are our brother's keeper. We are our sister's keeper. We are one another, and they are our keeper. Let us breathe that in. Um, so anyone who's needing out there um, in Iowa City here, a good place to plug in and help people is the um, Crisis Center, Uptown Bills, places like that who need your help at this time and could use your uh, kind donations or real in kind uh, hands-on donations. And also uh, public access television uh, could use your contributions. It's a wonderful station and they need your help too. They're all part of the community. And, and with, with that grace, we begin. So, we begin. She who laughs last, winter solstice. The past, the present, and the future walked into a gathering. They were intense. The old ones say, one day you realize that you're older than almost every other living being. Your familiars, cats, dogs, and other close critters, the wild messengers, the birds, the serpents, and others who visit you, most plants and even, uh, even other humans day by day are increasingly your younger sisters, children, and grandchildren. That's who, what's so great about trees. What's so great about trees? That's what's so great about trees. They are the only species where so many individuals are older than you. In the dark inspiration that marks the winter solstice, in the dark inspiration that marks the winter solstice, in the dark inspiration that marks the winter solstice, find a tree, place your palms upon that tree, slow down, seek counsel, place your palms upon that tree, slow down, Seek counsel. Take in this elder's survival story. Let the patterns in your mind mirror the patterns the tree shows in its bark and branch. You'll feel tree wisdom swaying your own canopy. You'll feel tree wisdom swaying your own canopy. Honor your tree with a token. Or, well, go ahead, you old tree hugger. You embrace this tree. Go ahead, you old tree hugger. Embrace this tree. It's always good to hug a tree. Then take a wider stance. Raise your arms. Look up. Invoke. Then take a wider stand. Raise your arms. Look up. Invoke the return of the sun. Good night. 
simple words that are always true to the year of the wild for the for the for the grizzly bear for the polar bear for the whale celebrate your jolly old self ride the nightmare see with owl eyes dream with the sleeping bear yona in the great ursa major arcana in the great starry night this winter solstice this is our yule tree this is our yule tide this is winter solstice the past the present and the future walking into our gathering as we are right now they are the old ones and they are in tents so if we've lived in tents and all of us have at some time we've gone camping i've lived in tents for an entire summer uh across the entire northern uh, part of uh this con continent called americua and um when you're in, in when you're living in tents you're living in a a golden dome of your own home a biodome of your own inner self and your own inner radiance and this is a prayer for guidance through the darkness wild woman push us into the cauldron swirling us into the darkest depths of the earth let us emerge let owls and ravens and starlings fly in our wake wolves cats and snakes follow our footsteps let our spines become as thick and strong as the redwood our power is endless our strength is staggering our creativity has no boundaries our possibilities are limitless a prayer for guidance through the darkness and as we are traveling through the darkest night which is the dark winter solstice night we are only today is the 16th we are only like five days away from the darkest night of the year but that what we mean by the darkest night is in, in physical terms that is the night that is the longest this the darkest night it's the day that has the shortest amount of sunlight which is around here about eight hours but dear friends in alaska that that some parts of alaska have no sunlight it's all dark and the sun won't come back up until like february 3rd think about that it's going to be dark night and day uh, way up in the northern part of Alaska, way up above the Arctic Circle, around Kotzebue, Barrow, somewhere up in there. It'll be dark night and, 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 and it'll be dark at noon, be no daylight until February 3rd, which is like uh, seven weeks away from there. So in that dark night, know that there is swirling delight. Love these earthlings every day. The birds, the insects, the clouds. Listen, stop, watch. Uh, sorrow for species lost. Earth will feel your love, giving you back every day. So we're moving in the waning half moon and we're, we're winding in and during this dark night, the longest night, right before your eyes a new beginning will appear. Expect only grandeur, fortune is smiling, all you need do is smile back. Fortune is smiling. All you need to do is smile back. That is a very beautiful thing. And we hold, 
We hold this cup of creation that we are holding. We can call it this, like this golden dome, this biome, golden dome called Biami, Velatropa, in the golden eternity of an hour. This is the holy scripture of the golden eternity of an hour. We hold in the cup of our own creation. We hold the golden eternity of an hour. And in this, we go into the depth, the deep ecology of our own being. Um, and so we think of these ones that have come before us. And who comes to my mind is Peace Pilgrim. She uh, was a woman who dropped her own personal identity, personal biography, and went on a walk. And she was going to walk until we had no more nuclear weapons and we on planet Earth. Quite a visionary perception, a modern-day St. Francis of Assisi. She decided to call herself Peace Pilgrim. And she would walk and every day, um, and she just left her life, her conformist life behind her. She would walk and, and, and she would keep walking until given rest and she would keep walking until given food. And she walked this way for 28 years. And there's a thing called the Steps of Peace Pilgrim. And if you want to know, each one of us is a pilgrim on this planet Earth. And Peace Pilgrim was one of the visionaries that walked, walked this path. And she's now in the other world. Uh, she's sending her light of uh, peace surrounding Mother Earth and, and, and her light of peace that surrounds your own hearth and Christmas tree and hearth fire and family. Uh, may each one of us make a step for peace. So here we are at the edge of the world. And at the edge of the world, there are edge walkers. And living at the edge of the world was living at the edge of time. Which, 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 which time is a surrealistic uh, symphony of diaphanous, impossible luminosities that become possible in the blink of an eye, in the wink and blink and a nod. This is the ed edge walkers, truly. Edge walkers and liminal folk, folk of the shades, rim dancers, and those from in between the worlds, we are fascinated by edges. If time is a loom, then perhaps solstices, which on different terms are called soul stitches, are the shuttles return on the loom, are the shuttles turn, and equinox is the loom center, balanced side by side these solstices, we canter, wicker, and pose at weave's edge. But just remember time's advance. The entire front of life's weaving is an edge as well. Always special, precious, particular. Each sunrise, each breath, each dip and wane, the wax of the moon, cloud held or star clear, cloud held or star clear we are always at the web's edge cantering and lurching into what has yet to be made we are always at the web's edge cantering and lurching into what has yet to be made we are all at each moment edge walkers truly and the solstice is um, a time during the winter solstice, the sun stands still for four days. That's what the solstice is. The sun stands still for four days in terms of time. Four days. So that's a uh, 
reconciliation time when everything stands still. At soul stitching time, the dark night of the, of the solstice is soul stitching time, the time when the sun stands still for four days. And in those four days, the December 21st, and then guess what? The sun starts moving again <coughs> on December 21st. On December 21st, the sun starts moving again. Isn't that interesting? Right about the time of Christmas morning, the birth of the babe in the manger in Bethlehem, that's when the sun starts moving again. The three magi are following that star, traversing afar. And dear friend, if you've looked out at night, especially in the morning, about three or four in the morning, there is a star out there, just bright, shining, sparkling, dimming, and then brightly shining again. And it's, and it's just traversing across the sky, traversing afar. That's the Bethlehem star. And these three magi are following that star. They came from the east. And guess what? They're following that star during the time when the sun is standing still for four days. And they arrive following that star from the east on Christmas morning when the babe is born in the manger in Bethlehem with the Bethlehem with the star overhead and the three magi arrive and that's when the sun starts moving again on December 25th Christmas morning at sunrise the sun stops standing still and it starts moving and it's the sign of the new year glory to God in the highest and the sun starts moving Glory to the divine in all your traditions, not in the Wiccan, in the Druidic, in the Celtic, in the heathen, in the pagan. The heathen only means that they are people of the heath, the common folk. Doesn't mean ugly, doesn't mean evil. Heathen are people of the heath. My people are people of the heath from the Irish Oheliakthi. Okay, Gwydion and Gwyn, and you, Guinevere, and you, Lancelot, and you, Galahad, and you, Morgan, La Fay, Morgane, and you, Percival, and you, King Arthur, at the ca castle Tinjatel, Tinjatel, in the mists of Avalon, around yonder round table of Druidic oath, it is your holiest troth of holiest oak with holly and ivy too of the holy, holy good red road of the holy rood and the sign Cleave Wood, you will find me there. Cleave Wood, you will find me there. So in these traditions, we are deep diving because the sun is standing still and we're in the deepest, darkest night. So that song, Oh Holy Night, the stars are brightly shining. That's deep space. And that's called this deep peace. Deep peace on earth to you. So as we look at that, we're going to see something about the winter solstice when the sun begins to stand still um, the silver wheel at the summer at the winter sol solstice ah at this cold low of the sun star so deep in her circle of time we fold the dark over ourselves Keep warm in its sky-black counterpane. 
zodiac sequence are sparks of fire that delight us, telling us stories of chimera and ice, fire drinks and wonders. This is do-nothing time, being time. This is do-nothing time, being time. This is no way time in Norway. This is no way time in Norway. This is do nothing time, being time. This is where we are being time, staying cocooned in the great mystery, staying cocooned in the great mystery. There was ending, there was death, Beginning is soon, filling with life. There was ending, there was death. Beginning is soon, filling with life. There was ending, there was death. Beginning is soon, filling with life. Now we press ourselves into the spaces between every moment. Feel the beauty of tensions, paradox, unknowing. Now we press ourselves into the spaces. We press on toward the dawn as the three magi from the east. Now we press ourselves into the spaces between every moment. Feel the beauty of tensions, paradox, unknowing. Ariane ro Rhodes Silver wheel floats like a cloak. Ariane rods, silver wheel floats like a cloak. Around us, spinning us out to stars that shine. Spinning us out to stars that shine in our deepest selves. Ariane rods, silver wheel floats like a cloak around us, spinning us out to stars that shine in our deepest selves. Hush now, little child. Hush now, little darling. Hush now, little one. Trust this turn to the mystery. Trust this turn to the mystery. Trust, trust, trust. Trust this turn to the mystery. In fear, disappear in her crystal t fire. Let fear disappear in her crystal fire. Let fear disappear in her crystal fire. Let fear disappear in her crystal fire. We come from the stars, stardust to bone. We are the universe. This is our home. We come from the stars, stardust to bone. We are the universe. This is our home. We come from the stars, stardust to bone. We are the universe. This is our home. Now that we're in this space, this sacred space, inside the crystal fire. Touch the stillness beneath the river. Touch the stillness beneath, beneath the river of change and storm. Touch the stillness beneath the river of change and storm. A glimmer of peace. A glimmer of peace. Touch the stillness beneath the river of change and storm. A glimmer of peace, a gift to calm the torrents of the world. Touch the stillness beneath the river of change and storm. A glimmering of peace, a gift to calm the torrents of the world. <laughs> so what we're looking at here something moving out of profane time into sacred time. Uh, that's this time which is the Christic dialogue which opens the door to understanding, forgiveness, healing, 
friendship and unity. To understand uh, what this time is, is to do what is right and to trust that good fruit will, be, will come as a result of doing what is right. This is the virtue of patience and the virtue of hope. And without hope, this will can't exist. So we have active hope, dear friend. We have active hope in our heart. That hope is activated. It's an activation ray, a synchronization beam from the divine love that is the heart of the universe. And it's to trust this, and to trust this process that good fruit will come as a result. Um, so, grasping after space, control, or power does not lead to liberation and peace. Grasping for power and control over others, that does not lead to liberation and peace. Letting these natural and understandable desires go, paradoxically, letting these understandable desires go, letting go, surrender, paradoxically, and trusting in the divine grace and power, paradoxically, this leads to shalom, the most great peace, the pearl of the most great price. And so this is a teaching of the message of the Messiah that lives within all of us. The Christ fire, the crystal fire, the message of peace on earth that lives within us and it's true. It's also, it's also for the ju Jubilee. And this is what redeems time and makes it holy. O holy night, this is the Christic fire within the crystal fire. This is that which redeems time to make it holy, sacred time. So you can see we've moved from profane time into sacred time. <laughs> and we could call this a Jew, and we could create now a year of mercy a year of forgiveness, a year of compassion coming up will be a year of mercy, a year of forgiveness, a year of compassion, a year of grace. That would be called a jubilee year. And so we've begun in this new year, this Celtic new year of Yuletide winter solstice, to reclaim sacred time. And in reclaiming sacred time, we consecrate time and create, among all of us now, the rainbow hoops of all the nations, red, yellow, bl black, and white. We create a con and consecrate time and co-create a jubilee year. A jubilee year. And that is a time of new beginnings, of new doors opening, of fresh opportunities to receive and give grace. That is what this consecrated time is, and it is how we redeem time to make it holy and, and thus call it sacred time. It is now, now uh, we consecrate this time into a jubilee year, a year of mercy, a year of forgiveness, a year of compassion, a year of grace. Call it a jubilee year, and we consecrate time. This is loaded language. You don't download it from a computer. This is loaded language from the grace of the Christic fire inside the crystal fire, inside our heart. This is the heart song, prayer, of the ages, of all the ages, of all the sages, of all the mages, of all the magi, I and I, Rastafari. And so when all of these sages and mages of the ages of Rastafari, I and I, 
come together and live inside the Christic fire, inside the crystal fire, inside our heart. You have I and I nation, and then you have I Magi nation, which is enough to inspire the Christic fire of desire in all crystal fires of the seven sacred fires of the seven arrows of the four directions and the seventh generation yet to come. So when we make decisions in this Jubilee year of consecrated time, sacred time, we ask this one question for Mother Earth, which comes out of the Paris Accords, but also comes from the Haudenosaunee of the Mohawk Nation, of the Oneida and Seneca, of, of, the, of, of, of those seven nations there, of the seven sacred fires within the, within the Great Lakes, the seven sacred fires, but also the tree of the most great peace, which lives within the Haudenosaunee wampum belt and wampum beads, the tree of the most great peace. That is, the question for Mother Earth is just this simple question. Whatever I do, whatever choice I make, whatever decision I make, let's get this deep in our heart during this time of deep peace. Whatever decision I make, whatever choice I make, I'm going to plug in one question, and that question is, how will this affect the seventh generation yet to come? Okay? My desire is to live and walk the path with a heart. So this is the heartbeat of the planet drum with this question. Does this path have a heart? And in this question I'm making to make this decision, this question I'm asking, I have a, lots of decisions in the coming year, right? All kinds of decisions and choices. This one question, you plug into all these decisions and questions, <clears throat> how will this choice or this decision, decision affect the seventh generation yet to come? When you plug in, and when I plug in, and when we all plug in this question, how will this choice or this decision affect the seventh generation yet to come? then we will know that we, will, we are following and walking the path with a heart. <laughs> this could be called the prayer of the heart. This is called the, the path of the beauty way, walking the beauty way, walking the prayer of the heart, which is compassion, but also with insight, nuos. With the nuos, the spirit breath of the nuos and the insight of the nuos, and the compassion, then we have the heart and mind together. That's called the heart, heart song. We have a heart song within each one of us, dear friends. That's the inner child. And so we're looking at creating non-directed time. And this could be called salvation time. Salvific time, which is beautiful. Salvific time. Um, you could call it the balm of Gilead time. You could call it loaded time because you're in sacred time. You're walking in the rhyme and rhythm of the path and the biorhythms of Mother Earth when you make these choices in this such a, when you walk in such a beauty way. This is the natural man and the natural woman. This is beyond human rights and civil rights. There's another thing called natural rights. And this is beyond civil rights and human rights, is natural rights, which are for the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged ones, the finned ones, the, the creepy crawlers, and the ones walking upright, the vertebrates taking a stand for all of humanity. That is the natural rights. So on one level, on one wing of, the, of this, we have cultural diversity, human rights, human rights, civil rights, cultural diversity, 
On this wing, we have natural rights, biodiversity. Biodiversity, cultural diversity. Natural rights, human rights. So when both of these wings are both are both floating and and flapping and, and like this, then the whole body of humanity and the whole planet can ascend and hit orbit and reach orbit and fly. When the wing of humanity and the cultural diversity and biodiversity, both wings are flying, then the whole planet flies as one inter being, interdependent, interplanetary being. This is called Gaia, Mother Earth, Aqua Terra. This is Mother Earth, Aqua Terra, Gaia consciousness, where it's one organism, one being, with many rivers running into the one ocean, which is cosmic ocean, is the heart song the cosmic ocean simply called love you could call it peace but this is deep peace deep ecology so we have some good news coming out of paris we have the accords and so we're all set up for this year of jubilee year um the vatican and that's just one but it's, it's a call for a year of mercy a year of grace and this is a coming uh, uh, this coming year is a year of compassion, mercy, and grace, which leads us into what's called an amazing grace, which is liberation, the jeweled ornament of liberation. This is a bodhisattva year. This is a bodhisattva year. That's that's the that's, that's when you take a vow of. Of the cessation of suffering of all sentient beings, not just human beings, but four legged, two legged, all beings, winged ones, finned ones, creepy crawlers, and the upright beings, those who walk upright. So, this is a, a bodhisattva year, and it's also known as a beautiful thing coming into that which is a quantum leap year. So when we have this flying of the entire planet, like the winged heart of the Sufi, which is the heart of the universe, the dances of universal peace, we are arriving at a Bodhisattva year, which is a quantum leap year. A quantum leap year. So, dear friends, we're coming into an amazing grace year. This is what is known as loaded time entering during this winter solstice, the soul stitching when the sun stands still, and it's loaded time, and it's also sacred time. But this is not just sacred time for a small time, which is four days like that. This is for the entire year coming up. That is loaded time. And you can't download that time. This is off the grid. This is not cyberspace. This is the human race. And so, this is a, a chance as, of a fresh start from others. And in turn, we make this offer to ourselves and to others. This is the spirit of ecumenical dialogue. And it's a time now um, for periodic renewal. And this is a time for liberation from slavery, from wage slavery. $15 an hour is liberation from wage slavery. Um, and let's proclaim and practice this Jubilee year together in a spirit of dialogue which propels all of us toward a witness in action and a conversion experience by uh, being our brother's keeper and caring for the least of these. Those who are naked, hungry, orphans, 
widows, those who are homeless, those who are in prison, those who, those who have no, no loved ones, all of these, this all have this within our hearts for the coming quantum leap year. And what that implies now, there is certain underneath this is a dialogue with others, other religions. It's really important now, including Islam and Judaism, and even in spaces and situations of disagreement uh, or struggle or outright conflict. And this puts some energy there of light and love. With the declaration of this jubilee, we can bring unity in the midst of every tension. And if there is someone in our family, a lonely neighbor, an isolated student, a solitary co-worker, we might approach in this loving friendship. And when we can, those whom we can, we seek out at the borders and the margins, those are the true edge walkers. Go out, let's go out and seek out the true edge walkers out at the borders and margins. Where are the uh, forgotten and even those we see as enemies? And those we see as enemies, that's work we have to do, not only for them, but for ourselves. Even though they're our enemies, find out the place we can love them. And in order to find out the place we can love their enemies, let's think about their families and their friends, okay? So see their friends and see their friends' faces. See the loving faces sending love your way. So see the faces of the friends of your enemies and see their loving faces and send love to them and their faces. Let's do that for the golden eternity of an hour. And then we see their, our enemies, or our opponent or our enemies' families' faces brothers and sisters, moms and dads, children, grandparents. Let's see those families' faces of our enemy and send love to each one of them as members of the human family. Getting closer and closer and closer till now we see the face of our enemy. And we can send love to them through their friends' faces, through their children's faces, through their grandparents' faces, through their mother's faces, through their father's faces, through their brother's faces, through their sister's faces, through their uncle's faces, through their aunt's faces, through their intergenerational family faces. And then we see their faces coming around and going around and then they sending their love to our family friends' faces <coughs> and our family members' faces, our brothers, our sisters' faces, our mothers' faces, our fathers' faces, our grandfathers' faces, our grandmothers' faces, our aunts' faces, our uncles' faces, our children's faces, our nieces' faces, our nephews' faces, all of our loving families' faces until they send that love to our face and all that love goes around the circle and we have a condolence and forgiveness ceremony where all are one together in the love of the of the circle that is unbroken and may the circle be unbroken that is a forgiveness ceremony a condolence ceremony and within that condolence ceremony dear friend is forgiveness and a reconciliation ceremony where we reconcile the opposites. And here we are at the end, end of the world, the edge of time, the darkness of the longest night, and we can reconcile the opposites. And that forgiveness ceremony is squaring the circle. And when we square the circle, we can roll, we can roll circles, wheels out of our center. Our center is the Nawal and Tonal, the Axio Mundi and the Anima Mundi. The Nawal and the Tonal is where we set our intent. That's the, that's the golden eternity of now. When we live in our tent in the golden eternity of now, 
This is the now all and to now. This is where we set our intent for the coming year. This is the eidetics, synaptics, synchroniz synchronization beam from the Zuvuya right on through our, our, our crown of creation right into our heart. So this is the heart song in which we sing of the ages before and the coming ages to come for the seventh gener generation yet to come. And this is the prayer heart song that we send around this loving planet of Mother Earth, this blessed water planet, Gaia. Now we are arriving at a form of consciousness that has both peace and justice, but also our heart song. And so when the Magi arrive at this place in the star of Bethlehem in the manger, and the babe is born, there's a new creation, a new inspiration. <laughs> This is called I Magi Nation. We are all part of the I Magi Nation, the third eye, loving kindness, the smiling forehead, activated in amygdala clicking, clicking our amygdalas, the third eye, Edi Pingala. So what do we get when we have the I Magi Nation? We have imagination. That's what we're here for. That's the Bethlehem star. And that rainbow hoop is a, is a magenta ribbon swirling around Mother Earth in the swaddling clothes in the, ba in the ba babe in a manger. And the rainbow hoops of all the nations, red, yellow, black, and white. We are one heart, one mind. So like there's a thing called may there be peace on Earth. Um, so peace on earth and now something came to me one peace one earth one heart okay so we're gonna have a thing here it is a, a dream this dream is uh, love is the glue that binds I had a dream one my grandmother appeared a dream in which my grandmother appeared. I was taken up on a hill in a caravan of streaming images, in a caravan serai of streaming images, a place of higher learning in invisible mountains of the driftless above Fayette, which is in northeast Iowa, a place of higher learning in invisible mountains of the driftless above Fayette, echozoic mind time, an upper university collage of mind. A missing college was waiting for me in the invisible world. A finned horn in time out of mind. I found solace and sustenance there and light. A very nice design on this upper hill of the invisible college. Beautiful light streaming out of these uh, buildings. Next, my grandmother took me to the ground of being, stone time, in a solid foundation, a stone castle in the valley, a real castle, much like Tenjato, a foundation stone of our culture, of our home, in the valley. Grounded solid stone for all the future generations yet to come, a monolith in eolithic time, a Stella Maria of magenta light, Stella blue, Datu blue, Bodhisattva blue, this arcing rainbow light. My grandmother showed me my outer face, which was sucked up by Babylon in conformity, which is like looking at uh, Scrooge in the ghost of Christmas past and the ghost of Christmas future. Then my grandmother showed me another face, a true face of myself, a free face, one of her face, herself, a whole universe self of myself, a whole universe self of myself, beyond time and space, my free face floating freely in the known and unknown worlds of the above world. And then the dream shifted. Now I was invited to co-teach an advanced class at a college of light much like Oroville or Arco Sancti. A new opportunity, 
I started walking through the streets of civilization naked, just like Demosthenes and Diogenes. I started walking through the streets of civilization naked. Folks from hippie Eugene counterculture in Oregon, in all their myriad ecdysiac ecstasy and multidimensional dancing transforming forms and living in many dimensions all at the same time, Somehow they came dancing into the room of my classroom, which then went Paleolithic into a deep cave petroglyphs. And in this deep cave petroglyphs, these dancing forms of humans were coming alive right off the mountain pictographs into our midst, many generations in many dimensions deep. Back into the mists of time, the mists of Avalon, the mists of Avalon. The Mists of Avalon. These ancient future Neolithic dancers in cubes back into dimensions and levels infinite back into deep cave mind. A woman dancer says, you cannot control or contain this. In this inner dialogical dyadic dance, the only words that were uttered that came, that came forth, dear friend, the only words that uttered and came forth, dear friend, from these idolas of the forms of these dancing in the cave was this. Babanam Kevalam. Babanam Kevalam. Babanam Kevalam. Love is all there is. Love is the glue that binds. And in that love, dear friend, this is the love around the winter time. Happy. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Yuletide, and may all the joys of the new year be yours in love, peace, and harmony. Thank you. Peace.